Well, I woke up early to the bugle call. It was a pitch black morning, mighty chilly too. And to make things worse, I had extra chores to do. Cause the men in camp over three feet high or younger in years than 85 were all called to the Mormon battalion. That left me. Walking home. Walking home. Walking home. Walking home. Heading out to Zion, walking home. Walking, walking. Well, I dressed and washed, then fried and ate, scoured the pans and packed a grate, harnessed the mules, and then I prayed. We started out and bless old Beth, stepped spur on my foot on purpose, I'd guess. Meanest tempered beast this side of the old Missouri. When I freed my foot, I had three crushed toes, and I was limping already from a nail in the sole of my worn out waterlogged boot on my tender right foot. Well, we made good time till along the rise comes a swarm of angry Lamanites demanding food and blankets and horses, of course. Now the women and the kids numbered 95, and someone had to keep them all alive. And, yep, you guessed it, brother. That left me. Walking home. Walking home. Walking home. Walking home. Walking home. Heading out to Zion. Walking home. Walking, walking home. I spied Mary Ellen Free Wagons behind and her pretty little face kind of warmed my mind as I limped along the way beside old Bess. But the day turned hot, my nose burned red, and I lost five pounds of honest sweat, too hot for a horny toad lizard to stay alive. Then the harness on Blackie broke clean through, so I ate cold beans and I worked all noon. As I was hooking the buckle like you have to do, I felt a tug and the whole thing slid, and I was looking down the face of this kid, Dan Briggs, four years old. He looked up at me with a serious face. I'm helping you get the harness in place. And I didn't have the heart to tell him a scat. So the wagons pulled out and I fell in, last in line today again. And hot, thirsty, and hobbling on. With that sharp old nail still poking through the skin on my tender right foot shoe. And those three crushed toes, thanks to old Bess. Walking home, walking home, walking home, all day long. Heading out to Zion, walking home. Walking, walking. A black little cloud popped into view, and in ten minutes flat I was so clean through. Teeth rattling, boots sloshing, there was Mary Ellen. Well, pushing our way to the highest ground was nothing compared to getting back down, cause that ridge was slick as a little wild running grease pig. Well, I closed my eyes and I hung on tight as my ten ton mule buckle camp slapping box went forty mile an hour down that long, slippery slide. I reached the bottom in time to get told that someone had to help the young and old bring their wagons down the hill. And that left me. Walking home. Walking home. Walking home. On and on. Heading out to Zion. Walking home. Walking, walking, walking. Limped into camp last again. My empty stomach growling like sin. So I fell to picking buffalo chips, of course. As I was heading back, I heard the gentle swish of a calico skirt. There was Mary Ellen coming straight toward me. Now, I'm not a man with a lot of pride, but I smelled like cows no buffalo hides. I was caked with mud from head to toe, limping, you remember, from a nail in my foot and three crushed toes. Darn old Bess, and the top of all, I'm carrying buffalo chips. What a fix! And that pretty Mary Ellen just blinking her eyes at me. Well, the wind came up and I started my fire, but the flour was wet and the meat was moldy and the water was slimy. It tasted like frog dust. Flopped down by the fire because my tent wasn't pitched and the wind was arising and my stomach was growling and the chores needed doing. And that left me. Walking home. Walking home. Walking home. Walking home. I'm walking home. Heading out to Zion. Walking home. Walking Whistling a tune that I never knew Boots all blacked and a well-fed middle Hanging over his belt Albert, says he All genuine concern How'd your day go? Well, brother, that's a long story You see, I woke up early to the bugle call Pitch black morning, mighty chilly too And to make things worse, I had extra chores to do There's a men in camp over three feet high Or younger in